Hi, this is Doug from Your Film and Your Crew. What you're looking at in front of you here is a series of 20 videos that have been prepped uh, for broadcast delivery. And uh, these are the 15 second versions, these are the 30 second versions, and they all have slightly different end boards. You can see there's kind of a call to action at the end there that changes a little bit for each one of these videos. And what's happened is the client's come back to us just before delivery and said, can we change MTHS to months, just the word months. So originally that was supplied with this abbreviation. Clients since changed their mind and they'd like to see it as the full word month. So this could be really tricky at this point. Uh, we've got 20 different end boards that we'd have to get back in there and do re-export, relink. Um, luckily, I'm gonna be able to do it in a couple of minutes because we created them with this awesome little piece of software called CSV to MOTN generator. CSV of course being comma separated values sheet and MOTN being uh, the Apple Motion file format. So what we did was we created all of the variations here in a spreadsheet. You can see it says 40% off three and six months. Now I've just changed this. So M-O-T-H, whatever it said before, a simple find and replace gives us what we want. Now all I need is the CSV. So I'm going to export this. We're going to download as a comma separated values list. I'm going to call this uh, fixed changes and it's saved. Meantime, over here in the finder, uh, let's have a look at the uh, the end board itself. So that there is the end board. It's created in Apple Motion and it looks like this. We've got a title that says call to action, just because that's what I called it. One that says offer and one that says T's and C's, because these are the three elements that vary depending on which spot it is. Great. So what we need is we need the actual, we'll save that, we'll need the actual uh, template there itself at a single one um, end board motion project. We're going to pick that up and we're going to put that in the right well where it says motion file. And of course, we're going to need the CSV file. There we go. Fixed changes, drop that there. And now we can map the fields from the CSV file to the fields from the motion file. Now, that's the reason I've called them what I did so that we can match them nice and easily. And now we're going to figure out where it is we're going to put this. So I'm just going to navigate to a, a destination folder. And that's going to be uh, motion. And we're redoing these versions. So I'm going to call it versions R01. So revision one. Let's go ahead and create that. Press open. And now all I do is generate those motion files. Uh, straight away, no waiting at all. It says all project files are written to the destination folder. Okay, then we can select any one of these that has that month in it. And we can see it's changed instantly. Now, how do we get all these out? What we want to do is run over to Compressor here, and we can drop those motion files directly inside Compressor. Let's just do that now. And in this case, I'm exporting out as uh, ProRes 422. Um, by default, that's just going to put it back into its source. And once we've done that, uh, we will relink to these new files. So may as well just go through the entire process. Let's go back to our uh, compressor. We'll start that batch. And this shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's successfully processed. Now let's go and have a look in the finder, version two, and you'll see that we've got these uh, varying end boards. And that's exactly what we want to see. And the question is, uh, now just a matter of reconnecting these. Let's go over to Final Cut. There we go. So we've gone ahead and we've changed, not just that one, but the end board for all of these. That's super powerful stuff. So um, look, I think the hero of this story is HGT Software. I'm gonna shout out to him. Uh, and it, just as a quick side note as well, this is the uh, CSV to Motion, super handy little tool. Um, go and pick it up now in the App Store, but over there next to it is another thing called X-Wiper, which I found uh, very handy uh, as a way to consolidate, not to consolidate, but to pull out unused portions of Final Cut libraries and free up a whole heap of, uh, uh, of disk space. So um, HGT Software, thank you for that one as well. All right, we're done here. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, you know, the old follow, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm Doug at Your Film and Your Crew, and uh, we'll chat to you again next time. Thanks. Bye.